How's it going guys and welcome to my living room. First things first, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way. This is an intercom phone, we can't order pizzas on here. This is a thermostat that doesn't work, we use the boiler to do our heating. And behind this tub is my kitchen where I cook all my delicious treats and food for you guys. So, without that out of the way, we can start our HIIT workout. This HIIT workout is something that I wrote at work earlier on. Uh, so some of the exercises are a bit hazy in my mind and for your benefit and my benefit we're going to do all the upper body stuff so things that were on our feet uh, at the beginning and then we're going to do a small cut and we'll do all the floor stuff so we can move the camera get the perfect shot so you can learn all the moves that you need to do to burn that fat this, ex uh, this HIIT workout is um, 9 minutes long so we're doing 9 exercises 40 seconds of intense work and really go for it and then we get 20 seconds of rest. Keep on arm if you want to make this even harder. At the end of the video, go back to the start and you can do this again. Normally, you see people like Joe Wicks and they do it for two rounds and they do the same exercises for those two rounds. So you can do that effectively with this, but to save you time and effort, you can just go back to the start of the video and start from the beginning. I'll be using a hit timer that will um, count down when we are changing, you'll hear the noises. And I'll also let you know when things are getting different. If you want to make your own HIIT workouts, you can get the HIIT timer on the App Store. It's the first one when you type in HIIT, and it's a pretty good app. You can customise it to your rest periods, your workout periods, and your warm-up time. And here we've got 15 seconds of warm-up time, uh, which I'm just going to say we'll do a bit of stretching. If you need more, then you can do that. Uh, get some water, get a sweat towel if you need one, and we're going to get cracking now then. So I'm going to start this timer, and then do a bit of light stretching, but you can do that in your own pace. And then we will start with high knees, which is our first exercise. Emily is also on the second camera here, which is going to show you some more benefit and some of the um, functional movements. And also she's going to shout out the exercise for me, so that'll help. It's counting down, so we've got three, two, one. So we're going to start with some high knees. Nice and high. Let's just try and blast these out. We've got 40 seconds to go with these ones, guys. So, is this your first HIIT workout ever? Or are you an experienced HIIT workout ever? Hit me up in the comments below and let me know if you've done HIIT before. It's a great way to stay in shape. And the best thing about it is you only need 9, 15, 20 minutes. Compare that to an hour on the treadmill. So I don't want to choose completely. So we've got five, four, three, there we are, all done. Get a nice 20 second rest there, rest up, and then we're going to go into some squats or sissy squats or sofa squats. So what I want you to do, if you've got a sofa near you and you can't do your full squat, put your bum on the couch and back up. Bum on the couch and back up. If you don't want to rest on the couch, have a nice sit down, get your standards on, you want to be touch and go, touch and go. For anyone that can do squats, nice deep ones, down to the floor, up to the top, down to the floor, up to the top. Really squeeze those glutes, everybody wants a peachy bum for summer, don't they? So we keep on going. What we got? We got 25 seconds left, we're flying through them. I'd rather you do these slower than faster. I know it's about raising the heart rate, but sometimes good form never hurt anybody. How are we getting on? Second exercise, nice and easy. Almost there, 10 seconds guys. Absolutely smashing it. Nice, deep squats. Couple more left. Two seconds, one second. You learn that rest there, so. Let's have a little rest, another 20 seconds to go. And we have lunge jumps, ooh. A hard one. These will get the body going completely. This is the last exercise on our high movements that we're gonna get. Down to the floor and get down and dirty with it. So, here we go. Down. Jump, switch legs to the floor. Knee trying to touch the floor. Keep on switching those legs. These are an absolute burn for the quads, but they will get you there. 25 seconds to go. And then you can do it. This is an absolute winner of an exercise. 14 seconds. Come on guys. Keep on getting tired. <laughs> That's how we know. Cool. Four, three, two, oh fuck. 
two, one. Bit of a bit of a trip there. Almost lost a cup of teeth. We've got 15 seconds rest, and then we'll get on to the down and dirty on the floor. There'll be a short cut here, just because we need to reposition the cameras, as we don't have fancy Joe Wicks equipment. Nice to see you down here on the floor. Let's get down and dirty with it. How many exercises have we done? We've done three. So we've got six more exercises to go. Let's really get them. This is going to focus on your core. So we're going to hit that timer. We've got a second camera looking at me in the eyes. We're going to start with up down planks. So you're on your arms, you go up, back down to the forearms. Up, back down to the forearms. And we're going to keep on doing this. An absolute up burner. Oh man, this is getting me guys. I don't know about you, this is a good one. Picked the wrong day to wear a baseball cap. My head feels like a low Mosley bog. Not very good. If you're not from Birmingham, or the staff of Birmingham, you won't get that reference. So, a very niche area. There's someone beeping the horn outside. They're rooting for me. They want me to get this. Come on guys, we've got four seconds to go. Three, two, one. We're going to rest. We've got 20 seconds. What's that next exercise then? Yeah. Four time ABS. I got this from the uh, eight minute abs workout. So what we're gonna do, we've got seven left on the rest. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So that's what it's four times. Let's get it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice controlled movements here. One leg, two leg, three leg, four leg. I like chicken tea. <laughs> See? You can do little rhymes of it, make it go a bit easier. Don't think about the pain that you're going through, because we're only going to be doing this for nine minutes. If you're doubling down, then you haven't got the crap jokes for the next part, unless you are watching it again. What well, an absolute treat that is for you. So, how are we getting on then? How many minutes left for? Three, two, one. Ah, uh, great stuff. So, we've got a lot of rest there, a bit of a burner for the abs. Next exercise we have got is. Now I'm quite a bit of bit of a cardio. So we're gonna get this stomach burning, mountain climber. You wanna be on the floor in a push up position and you're gonna get these knees up like this. So let's go. 40 seconds of these. And let's just keep going for it. Nice high knees. Try and get into the chest. Imagine you wanna knee your own teeth in. You know, probably not the best thing to do. Dental bills are quite high nowadays. Your shoes might come off like me. But you know, sitting back up, I wouldn't recommend doing this barefoot, probably break a few toes. So, we've got 15 seconds left. Count two, look at me in the eyes. How are you doing? And here we are, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, oh Jesus, kind of too fast. 2, 1, let me know if you're that rest there. Okay, next one, on we go. So, leg raises. We're back to kind of like four times abs, but leg raises. We're going to keep these legs together. We're just going to lift them up like this, and lift them down. That nice and controlled. You want to feel that burn all the way through the abs. Some of the exercises are high octane, real fast movements. Try and go for that same pace that you're going out of squats. Can you feel the squeeze on the top abs? Like that. So, let's get through this pain together guys. It isn't too long, only 40 seconds of working. Then we get that nice 20 seconds of rest. Ah, Jesus. Let's keep on going. We've got 10 seconds left. Ah, and then we'll be in pure bliss, won't we? So let's keep it going. Nice and easy. Last one, let's get it. Ah, awesome, there we are. Real 20 seconds rest. What are we on now? We've got some lovely press ups. Taking me back to when I used to do circuits in school. I used to have a teacher called Mr. Ward. You couldn't pronounce press ups, you used to call them curse ups. So, we're going to do a couple of curse ups for Mr. Ward. So, 40 seconds, let's go. If you can't do press ups, get on your knees, cross your legs, and you can do these. These are absolutely brilliant, still work. I know a lot of people do struggle with press ups, they are a bit of a hard movement. Don't wear a baseball cap, but if you do, keep your Get your peak high like this. Somebody's you're going to cheat the game like that's one. It's not one. It's not even half. So you got to keep on going. Alright guys. We've got 15 seconds to go. 
let's keep it going. Come to Emily's laughing over there. She's the only fan of the crap jokes. Ah, <laughs> God, I'm running out here. Three, two, one. Yeah. You know what I'm going to say? You don't that rest. I'm like a broken record. <laughs> Sorry, the camera stopped recording there. The camera has a 10 minute function where it likes to cut off. So I'm going to do some dips. Here you want to hoist yourself up like this. Go like that. Dip, dip. You'll feel this in the arms. The higher you make yourself, the more of an intensity you can do. If you're back at the sofa, you can dip off the edge of the sofa. Legs out straight, dip to the floor. Very effective exercise, burning up on triceps. And this is our last exercise. I don't want really to get emotional, but I feel like I miss you already. So here we are. Four, three, two, one. And as I say, you know that rest. There we are guys, absolutely finished. I'm going to pause the time here. If you want to get a bit more of a sweat on than you can do, you can play this video again and you can do this for 18 minutes. If you're a beginner or you're absolutely knackered out of breath like I am, then you can leave it at this. You've, what you've earned, you rest, you've earned your dinner, let's go get some carbs in us and some protein and we have a good evening. So thank you very much for joining me on this hit workout. Thanks very much camera two and Emily for helping us out. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a comment or a like or a subscribe if you're feeling generous and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Peace. <laughs> you shagged. Yeah. Shagged. Behind the scenes. I'm shagged.